Hello, hello mga dong, mga dai! Welcome back to my channel! This is Francis and you are watching Sinzo! So, if you are new here, um, by the way, my name is Francis. I am sharing my life and travels here in Australia as a nurse. Please don't forget to like and subscribe Scene Zone by Francis Antoke. Comment below anything or if you have some questions, don't forget to follow or add me on my Facebook. It's Francis Antoke and you can also add me on my Instagram at Paupe. There you can ask me or DM me with your personal questions regarding life here in Australia. I would be happy to answer those. For this episode, we are going to talk about the difference between working as an aged care nurse or acute nurse. So these two um, different uh, uh, fields of nursing here in Australia plays a very important role. This video will uh, give you a bit of idea of what it's like to be working in a home care and working in a hospital. Before anything else, just a disclaimer, whatever I am going to mention in this video may vary from nurses or your you as a nurse watching this one may vary from your responsibility, patient-nurse ratio, and as well as the salary. Because different facilities, they have also different policies for them. Everything in this video is based on my personal experience, which is um, relatable naman to everyone or um, every nurses who are working here in Australia. Also, I don't have an extensive um, experience in the hospital. In fact, most of my experience here in Australia is um, aged care or home care. However, just recently, um, I started my hospital um, work in one of the uh, government hospitals here. However, I had only body shifts. <laughs> so, I didn't have um, more shifts because of the COVID pandemic. Nga. So, it was February, I think, or March, I started to uh, get shifts in the hospital. Um, however, when the government um, started to lock down everything here in Victoria, they encouraged all the nurses to work in a single home or single facility. So, meaning to say, um, our companies are highly encouraging the nurses um, to work for them solely. Because here, common kasi yung, like for me as a nurse, I have one permanent job and I have also other casual jobs. Which is, which is very good kasi para maka-earn ka ng more income. However, during the pandemic, babawalan kami because of the community transmission is very um, high and we don't want that to take our um, residents at risk kasi sila yung the most vulnerable ones. Um, I can also uh, share my experience because I, ha I was exposed also in uh, Australian hospital setting. I had my placements in hospital government hospital here march or what's it i think what february um like body ship was a hospital because i really want to uh, work also in the hospital para naman to keep my clinical skills updated in, in providing quality nursing care so let's get into it here i am going to mention three main points kung saan ko ibibase yung kung ano ang pinagkakaiba ng dalawa. Age care versus acute. So, um, these three main points that I'm going to mention are first, main responsibility. So, ano po yung uh, nurse's main responsibility between the two? Secondly, I will also mention the patient or resident ratio. Because in the hospital, there 
um, their patient ratio is different to um, facilities or nursing home facilities nurse or resident nurse ratio. And thirdly, their salary. Yes, meron din pong pagkakaiba ng salary nila. So, stay tuned because salary is more interesting. <laughs> so, let's start. In the first um, point, which is the nurse's main responsibility or their main role, Una, sa age care, if you are the in-charge nurse, you will be the in-charge of um, the whole facility after hours. Well, in the morning, kasi if, if you work um, 7 to 3, there will be um, care manager, clinical nurse manager, and you the in-charge of the unit. However, after hours, starting 3 o'clock, tinatawag na nila yung after hours, you will be the in charge of the whole facility. So meaning to say, if your facility is at 120 bed capacity, you will be the in charge and you will be rated as grade five. Then you will, your main role or your main responsibility is to manage first the staffing, um, to manage the, like for example, there's any incidents, so, um, also, you will manage um, residents referral. If meron kayong ipapadala sa hospital, ima manage mo yun siya. You will also have to do the care evaluation plan. Dito po sa Australia, because the residents live in that facility for a certain period of time, hanggang mamatay sila. Yes, literally, hanggang mamatay sila. Every three months, you ha we have to evaluate their care whether effective or not effective whether na meron bang na change sa kanila either um, 3 months ago nakakalakad pa sila but after 3 months hindi na sila nakakalakad so yun po mainly yung mga uh, ginagawa um, there are a lot pa however that basing I am basing on private facility kasi in um, government facilities as well. If you are the NUM or the nurse unit manager or the ANUM, iba din yung role nila which is um, meron naman din pagkakahawin or there are still similarities but really the roles differs from each facility from each institution po. So, as I've said, if you are the in-charge nurse, you will be um, dealing with the managerial roles, staffing, everything. So, medyo sakit siya sa ulo, but you are paid high. That's it. Um, compared to the hospital, your main role, um, hospitals are primary nursing. So, you will have patients, you will do everything. Um, ADLs, shower, um breakfast pati mag if the patient wants coffee toast then you make it for them aside from that you all you have to give your medications as well um you have to deal with other allied, allied health care workers such as the physio doctors um, you will also be responsible in dealing with the families so Ano, merong mga questions sa mga families regarding the care. Kasi here in Australia, it is very important that families should be involved and as well as your patient or the resident. Um, it is what we call partnership in care. So, um, very important po yung ano, involvement ng family and um residents or patients decision making regarding sa health nila. Now, magvavary na naman din tayo sa ratio. The second point I'm going to uh, discuss is the ratio of nurse patient ratio and hospital uh, residential age care um, residents nurse ratio. Okay, medyo malano. fancy resident nurse care ratio. Anyways, so in age care or home care facilities, they vary also from institution to institution. One, there are some um, institution or facilities that 
their capacity or bed capacity is only like 75, 60, or 50. Second, there are also big um, facilities that um, caters or has a capacity of 120 residents in one facility. Now, if you are working in 120 bed capacity, usually they have care manager, um, clinical nurse manager, after our supervisors. So after our supervisors, ito na yung mga mag-incharge ka. So si after our supervisor, one nurse is to 120 bed capacity or 120 residents. Yes. Whew. Anyways, but we say in saying that, meron ka din namang, um, kasi usually if 120 bed capacity or 120 um, ang residents mo, nakakluster yan siya into different sections. And most of the time, in each sections, meron ka ding other nurses. Yan. So, hindi, hindi naman siya ganun kahirap. These other nurses or, or unit nurses, they are stationed there to manage also their um, designated residents and staff. So, if they have problem, if they have um, staffing issues, sayo sila tatawag kasi ikaw yung magmamanage ng buong facility. Even, oh, even just that kunyari may sira ang tap ng toilet ng isang ano resident, sa'yo pa rin yan. I swear. Itatawag yan sa'yo. Anyways, in hospital setup, um, usually, if you're working uh, morning shift, 7 to 3, um, your ratio would be 1 is to 4. So, 1 nurse, 4 patients. So, you will be responsible of everything. As I was saying a while ago, from ADLs to discharge. So, lahat, including medication, special procedures. Konti lang yung ratio in the hospital. It is because it is primary nursing. Sa'yo lahat, mahirap din siya. Napaka, ano siya, you have less time to sit down and do your documentation kasi apat yung lahat ng uh, patients mo. So, <clears throat> let's go to the third one, which is the salary. Yes. If you are working in a 120 or say for example, you're just working as an in-charge nurse, you will be paid as a grade 5. So, grade 5 rates here are, I think, Victoria has the, parang pinaka-low ata ang Victoria in terms of nurse salary among the states here in Australia. Um, per hour ng isang grade 5, usually, nasa 42 to 49 or 15. So, if you're working, uh, say for example, if you are working night shift or afternoon shift, you you be paid forty-two to fifty dollars per hour. On top of that, meron ka pang extra allowance, and then if night shift, meron silang night differential. So, medyo malaki talaga ang kikitain mo. On the other hand, sa hospital naman, kasi ang hospital, they are um, basing everything sa grading system. Like, for example, if you are a newbie, if you are an um, uh, entry-level nurse here in Australia, so you will get around $32 per hour. So in that $32 per hour, if you're working afternoon, meron, meron ka pa rin night defer uh, afternoon penalty. If night shift, meron ka rin night differential. Ang hospitals naman dito, yearly nag-i-increase, nag-i-increase. Kasi yearly din, nag-i-increase din yung grade mo. Like, our level mo. At the same time, kunyari, nasa uh, special areas, meron din silang, uh, ano, parang different din ata yung sahod nila. Medyo mataas siguro yung sahod nila. If you're going to weigh salary-wise, 
I would say um, age care kasi higher chances of um, winning. <laughs> Just to give you an uh, inspiration, if casual ka sa isang age care and you're the in charge, weekends, usually, ang matatanggap mo per hour, roughly around 65 to 17 per hour times um, 35. Kasi Australian dollar, 34 to 35. Magbabari din siya everyday. So that's it. Um, the lessons I've learned, working in an aged care, I developed my decision-making, uh, communications, and assessment skills very well. And, as all, and also documentation. Things I've learned in the hospitals, um, assessment skills and communication skills. And I think mo the most important skills that you need to learn in working both, either residential or hospital, is the teamwork. You, ha you as a nurse, will be working with different um, healthcare workers. You are going to work together um, in order to provide the best um, outcome for your residents or for your patient. It would be best if um, you have a good teamwork. Yun. So I think that's one of the most important lessons I've learned between working in these two um, sectors. So that was it guys to my fellow nurses and aspiring nurses who wants to work here in Australia. Those were the difference between working in an aged care and working in a hospital. So I hope that you were able to get an idea and learn from my experience. Until then, I will see you next time. This is Francis and you are watching Scene Zone. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you.